Hey, fellow fans, how's it going? It's Nuka Mage here. I'm going to shoot a quick video about uh, terminals, how to add terminals, how to lock them, how to add information to them, and I'll probably finish off with showing you how to lock a door since it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, so let's go, just go ahead and start here. Um, under World Objects, you'll find terminals. Uh, we're going to find, or I'm going to get you one that's, that's easy to use. It's default terminal desk, so you'll want to duplicate it. Once you've duplicated it, um, does not. Once you've duplicated it, just of you know, you know the drill. Re uh, rename the ID to something with a prefix. Test mod. It'll be easier to find. Uh, the name is how, what it's going to say when the player walks up to it. So the computer is going to say Nuka Terminal. Uh, when it opens up, it's going to say you know Rob Co. Whole bunch of garbage. And then right below that, it'll say Welcome to Flavor Country. Whatever you type in here will be the welcome message. Then after that. Uh, what is it going to display? Like, what are you, what are you going to be looking through? Um, in this case, I've already added, you know, here, I'll just, we'll just go through them. Now, here you go. You just hit new. And then, uh, this is what you'll type for something to click on. So click this. So this is what people will click on or in the, in the, the terminal it'll say click this so people click it and then under display text will be what it says after that so basically you know it, it could say like right here i have psycho's diary so when someone clicks on psycho diary um this would be like their one entry now say you want psycho's diary to be more advanced so you click on the diary and then you're going to see multiple um entries like uh like monday tuesday wednesday you know, um, <clears throat> how does that work? Well, the way that works is is you click a sub menu. Here is always display text. So yeah, Nuka welcome message. You click on that, it'll say die, and that's it. And then you hit back. But if you want to click on it, and then have other choices, like I said, diary choices, that's going to be a sub menu. Now a sub menu is basically a reference to another terminal in game, but that's not actually in the game. It's just in the library. So uh, in this case, it would be test mod terminal because even though this is test mod terminal like this is a terminal we've created you can actually link it to itself because it's a terminal and all sub menus are terminals so if you were to go say duplicate it it may not duplicate okay so here's a duplicate the duplicate so we'll do terminal 2 and let's go ahead and clear all this out delete 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 and then, like I said, Monday. Today sucked. And then you make a new one. Tuesday. Today also sucked. And there we go. And you can even link a, a whole another one. Like, let's say, actually, let's how about this? We can do, if you want, we can go back. And we do go back. Or actually, no, here we go. Main menu. Test mod terminal. Now it's going to, this now this part will link right back to where it was. Uh, no, you don't need to make a new one. I've already made it. Just go ahead and save. Back to terminal. And make sure this says, ah, see, if you create something with this window open, this window won't show it. So back out. Open up again. Psycho Diary Terminal 2. And there we go. We hit OK. All right. Now, if you want that terminal to hold a holotape that you can get, you can, yeah, see, either click here, it'll take, if you leave it blank, it'll it'll accept holotapes, but it's not going to have one in there to begin with. You'd have to create one. So I'm not really sure where tapes are. Actually, hold on. Let me. Let's here. Here's how you. Here's how, how you find out. So, atomic command hollow tape is the f atomic. Oh, oh. That's how you find stuff. So yeah. Okay. Atomic command is not here. Static. We're going up. It's actually probably an item. <laughs> how about where it says hollow tape? There you go. Um, so now we don't want atomic command because it's actually a game. We're gonna want something that yeah, there you go. Common hollow tape. We'll duplicate it. And again, prefix test mod hollow tape. And this is gonna say 
or no, this is just going to be Nuka Hollow Tape. Reference is good. It's not going to be voice because I don't. You're not adding anything. Um, you can just make it a terminal, and in that terminal, it's going to be test mod. So now, anytime you enter, when you put uh, this hollow tape into any terminal in the game, the terminal you've created will come up. How fun is that? So again, we just created something with this window open, so we got to close it. See, now you can see why prefixes are starting to come up, why they're so important. So holds hollow tape, yes. Test mod hollow, no. Test mod, did I just lose it? No, no, that was it. Test mod holotape. So there you go. So now it'll hold a holotape, which is basically holding the terminal you've just created. Uh, and it'll in even include the Psycho Diary to link to the test mod uh, terminal 2, which is the actual Psycho's Diary. Hit OK. Hit Save. All right, so that's that's pretty awesome. Now let's, let's talk about locking real quick before we continue. Um, now all you have to do is this. You can type in the reference of test terminal. Go to lock it'll come up like this. You can click locked. Uh, you can either have it to where it can be picked. Obviously that's self-explanatory. Or you can do a requires key. Now uh, you can go here to key and you can find a key you want. It really doesn't matter but I would suggest you type terminal because you'll want to you'll want um, you'll, you'll want a model that looks like a hollow tape, not a key. Now let's say you accidentally do a key, which is what I did. So you can actually hit just any key, any old key, Cambridge. So we'll do test mod key two. I've already made one. So Nuka terminal password. There we go. You'll hit OK. No, you were to get it. Go cancel that. So here's the test mod key two. Drop that down. And then you're like, oh crud, it's a key. Like I want it to look like this. I want it to look like a hollow tape. Well you can just double click it. Go to edit base. Go down here to model. Now you'll notice that what I did was I found a terminal password. Terminal password here, so hollow tape. You'll just control C to copy. Cancel. Come here to edit. Actually you could probably just write over it. V and there you go. Now it's a hollow tape. Hit OK, clear, close, hit OK, bam, hollow tape. That's how you change models too. Well, we're on the subject. But that's pretty much it. Hit delete, we don't need two of them out there. Save. We're going to come back to lock. Requires key. What key? The test mod key. See, that's the second one we created, but we're going to use the one that I already have here. On the... So now when you pick this up somewhere in the dungeon, you can access this terminal. Um, and real quick, if you want to learn how to lock a door, you've pretty much already learned how. So it's lock. Eh, these. The only difference is, uh, yeah, it requires key. You would create a key, not a not a password to hollow tape, but an actual key. Um, or they can be picked. The only thing I haven't figured out is require, requires a terminal. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. Um, you can click it, but, I mean, it's it involves scripting, and I'm terrible. I'm terrible with scripting. Sorry for that noise. Um, I mean, here we are in the overseer's office, so I mean, I can click his computer. Um, go to lock. No, no, it's not locked. But we can access the computer. And we can go to the open evacuation tunnel and see how there's a papyrus script here. Terminal Vault 111, Fragment Terminal 3. See, I don't know. I don't know how to work this. I'm sorry. I wish I could, you know, write videos on, uh, on scripting. Normally, I would just copy and paste and rename stuff. But the advanced, you know, term terminal vault 111. I just don't know how to. I don't know how to deal with it. So yeah, I'm sure you can find somebody online who will show you exactly how to link a terminal to unlocking a door if you're making, you know, a zone that requires it. Otherwise, I find that uh, uh, a, a, a neat walker, uh, a neat way around that is say. Um, you want, oops, sorry, say you want this door to be unlocked with a terminal, but you don't know how to script. What you can do is you just do requires key, right? You do test mod key two that we created. Okay. Even though it's 
technically it's a, it's going to be a hollow tape, but let's suspend disbelief a little bit. And then what you would do is you would go into damn you clouds. You go into the terminal you created, and you would have it hold uh, a hollow tape. Um, actually, test mod. Yeah. Never mind. You can pretty much forget everything I just said. <laughs> what I was going to try to do was have the hollow tape be a key, but it it, it just it won't work that way. Sorry about that. Um, there is no workaround. You'll have to learn how to script it. My apologies. I'm a little limited on uh, scripting, and like I said, I also learn while I teach sometimes. That's how I've gotten this far uh, with doing terminals. I've pretty much just taught myself. Uh, but there you go. So that's that's how all that works. Um, and then, yeah, see the cryo later. If you really hated it, you would just go to lock, see how it's on master, and just go, oh, novice, advanced, anybody can have it now. Anybody can do it now. <laughs> and that's that. Okay, so... Yep, you've learned how to lock doors, you've learned how to make a terminal, lock a terminal, you've learned how to make a holotape key for the terminal password, you've learned how to make a holotape of the terminal you've just created, you learned what submenus are, and that's pretty much everything about terminals. Pretty fun, huh? In depth. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and hop in game, and uh, let's make sure I'm not a crackpot. Oop. Make sure I'm not a crackpot so you know all this stuff works. Okay, here we are in game. Uh, I'm just going to double check make sure everything works now we've already opened that door so you can't really test it because you know this is the beginner beginner zone but there you go see the nuka nu 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 terminal that we we changed the name requires a key no way to hack this no way to hack it you need the ter test terminal key where's the test terminal key <gasps> oh my god there it is we've just picked it up we unlock it now <laughs> cool huh? okay so yeah welcome to, to robco industries it needed a password to got it so you welcome to flavor country uh and then here we go well, Nuka, welcome message. Die. Uh, don't click here. Oh, yeah, I always do that. Don't click here. <laughs> you rebel, you. I like that. <laughs> and then we got the Psycho's Diary. So here we've just linked to another terminal that, that, you know, it's not this terminal anymore, but it's linking it to another terminal, which is cool. Um, and Psycho's Diary. So Monday, today sucked. Tuesday, today also sucked. And then main menu was... Pretty much the same selection as what got us here, but it's going to take us back to the beginning. You can either play the tape, it's loading, but it's like, oh, it's what you just created. Or you can eject it, and now you have, in your pocket, you now have the terminal you just created. So it's a fun way to where, I mean, technically you could add all sorts of uh, information or say, well, the game doesn't need recipes or anything, everything's all in-game. But whatever you want to make a terminal for, that's how that wall works. And then, as you can see, this requires a key this. Um, because we added it to a, which one? No is it? way to pick this. Only opens with a key. Nuka terminal password. Um, well, I delete it because that was number two. But there you go. That's that's how that works. So now you know how to lock, unlock. You know how to make terminals, drop them in, and all that good stuff. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please. Uh, Give me thumbs up. Please subscribe for more videos. Uh, link in the comments if you'd like to see more or what you'd like to see. Um, you can always find uh, my mods on the Bethesda.net. I made one. Yeah, there you go. That reskinned the Pip Boy to be a uh, Vault Tech color. I like that. And there's also, I added, no, I don't have them on me, but I added stuff for, I added a uniform, glasses, a helmet, all that stuff. Uh, you know what? you're still watching I don't know why but let's go right over and I'll do a little shameless plug here so yeah right here at the entrance there you go so you just take, 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 take. it took me a long time to learn or to reteach myself a lot of this stuff so I don't mind plugging it yeah my shadows are crappy cuz Improving performance here. All right, so yeah, there you go. See the uh, Pip Boy matches the uniform I created, the bandana, the glasses, and the helmet. There's also a uh, hazmat suit that I popped in here. <laughs> and there you go. Pretty sweet, huh? So that's all the fun you can do with mods. And all right, again, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good one.